Shakia, it's your boy Fist in the his house, bringing another great edition of Black Eyed Peas movie. That's what I do. And who would have thought the end game of Black Ops 2 was going to be LMGs and snipers? I, I mean, I would have never thought that in a million years, but uh, I guess maybe, I mean, developers are just like, they get the pressure from people complaining about the, I mean, I guess that's who they listen to. I mean, mostly, who are they listening to to nerf weapons? And what does it come down to? A, a select few um, MLG pro players, you know, fix this weapon, cry about the MSMC, the cry about the the foul, cry about this weapon, and forget about the. I mean, we just. I mean, I don't understand this. How do how does David Vonderhaar and the Treyarch Studio? put so much work into a game and then nerf the SMGs and the assault rifles because of what a few select MLG pro players say and then the end game the end result for the rest of the community is everybody stuck using snipers and LMGs I mean I I, I don't understand how you sacrifice so much of your of your development team and everything you've worked for and not stand by your guns <laughs> pardon the pun but stand by stand by your guns I mean for the original balance of your weapons I don't understand that I mean if you're not standing for what you believe in when you make the game then why even make the changes I, I why do you do that so now where we are if you look back at the game and you said black ops 2 is going to be an lmg sniper game i mean people would have been like yeah whatever they would have laughed at you but now here we are it is september 3rd september 4th or whatever it is and the end result is that it's a sniper LMG game. I mean, if you mostly play ground war or domination type games, any games, I mean, uh, doesn't even matter. Most of the game types are going to be shrunk down to 6v6 anyway. But the point being is, is that now with the advent of tactical insertion and snipers and them not even nerfing any of the snipers or mostly snipers and LMGs throughout the whole season of this game that's what's left now just think if they didn't nerf the SMGs and they didn't nerf the assault rifles there would be balance in the game to this point I mean the way they had it was fine the way it was now you just have snipers and LMGs I get to the point where you know I can't beat snipers with SMGs or assault rifles the tactical insertion and and the fact that they don't need uh, toughness because of how fast they reset even when they're being shot is beyond ridiculous. I mean, I'm going to post a video today that clearly shows how powerful sniping is in this game. You know, and how it relates to these new maps. I've been playing Apocalypse, uh, the Apop Apocalypse map pack for the whole two weeks that it's been out. I haven't played anything else. And here's what I realized. Standoff, which was Stadium. Look how much time Treyarch takes and how much time their studio takes to remap these maps. I mean, color palettes and everything. It completely looks different. It's beautiful. They did a great job. But then you come to the realization that this map was made for Black Ops 1. And in Black Ops 1, there was no target finder LMG super snipers that could sit back and just tactical insertion and take hits and front and not even flinch. I mean, why do you put the perks? Why does Treyarch put the perks in there? 
why do they take all the time to make these maps really nice and and go through all this work and have the maps and and have the snipers as you know broken as they are in black ops 1 stadium worked because tactical insertion snipers weren't a problem because of the reload animation and the in the flinching and the reset ability on centering their view wasn't ridiculous now it's incredible you could just sit and once you get flag b or in the middle once you obtain the center of this map regardless of what game type or objective or how many people is in the map it's it it's over you could sit in one area and later on i finally realized this after watching the snipers, I was like, well, I'm going to set up there, too, as an LMG. Look at that. I'm taking shots. Sniper sniper has no fear in this game. There's so, I mean, I want you to go over to my Fist 2 channel. And here's what I'm... I, on my Fist 2 channel, I have an M8 up close, off the hip, burst firing, two bursts, two separate burst hip fire markers. And it has nothing to do with lag compensation or anything. It, the fact that the character, the sniper character itself, has the ability to reset on a in between burst or after burst in full red without toughness and only using fast mags and cold blooded and get a shot off on me is re, it's just incredible. And I don't know how. David Von Der and Alice Conserva can just see that and say the snipers, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, that's all that this is the end game now. This is what your end game is is consistent. Consist of LMGs and snipers. So, anyways, I start out with the SMG in this game, and I had to switch to LMG because of the tactical insertion snipers. There's nothing you can do. You know, you have to you need streaks to beat snipers in this game because of the fact is you don't know where the tactical insertion is and if you kill them and you have to be cognizant of the fact that they could be right there again and with that fact being behind that is that the people who spawn that don't have tactical insertion can come up and still obtain or hold that real estate which is ridiculous because you've earned it and I don't even know what tactical insertion is I don't even know how that's in the future in the present I don't know how that has anything to do with modern combat it's ridiculous abusive um, bug glitch whatever ex exploit that's been put into the game purposely this should be taken out this shouldn't even be in the game so anyways I finally figured out that if you sit behind this desk right here and you cap you uh, get them down to a you just can kill them right out of their spawn and get your streaks now now here's the thing Treyarch goes through all this trouble to make these maps from older games and put bring them here you have to realize that these older maps do not work on new Call of Duty for the simple fact is is that they don't match the weapons and the attachments so when you have long straightaways with target finder tactical insertion sniper uh, dual band it's a wrap this map is already broken because now all I have to do is set up behind here and that's it hold this area down with smoke or our target finder there's nothing nobody could do they can come behind me I put a claymore right there if I wanted to get rid of the pistol and it's it it's over that's all you have to do I mean it's come down to where these certain maps have locks on them and what I mean by locks is like you get into a certain area or, or a situation where you have a certain attachments and setups you're gonna get your streaks and once you get your streaks that's it you know it's over for the other team and that's the same thing with dig dig is a world at war map yeah it's cute you brought the map back but the fact is is it looks pretty and it looks great and you did everything but it doesn't match and it's even a far worse map than standoff in that regards to everything is really short on the map and the fact that you can use target finder and dual band you could shoot people across the map and that's it they're done you don't even have to move so I don't see how you bring back maps that 
you can't bring here's the thing you cannot bring back old maps to any new games because you first off have to realize that the weapons that you're implementing are different from the older games secondly you know you have to listen to all the community you just can't listen to pro players and be like okay let's let's nerf all the SMGs and assault rifles, of course, that's what they use in their tournaments. They're not running around with LMGs and snipers. So those are, those are the only two things that will never be fixed. And that's what winds up being the end game for the rest of everybody for the rest of the year. It's terrible. It's terrible solutions. It's terrible fixes. It, game shouldn't be fixed or buffed. You should listen to everybody. And this is where we're at now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Please have a chance to go check out Fist 2 and look at that ridiculous, broken sniper video. I mean, if, if, you, if you can't see it there, then you're never going to see it. Anyways, peace, I'm out.